What do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks are mutating, some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> what do you just do your thing? Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video today. We are going to be continuing Days Gone. This is part 15, I believe. Uh, make sure you subscribe to on post notifications. We're getting pretty close to 300. We are at currently at 226. Uh, so I'm hoping by the time this video comes out, I'll be at like 230. I'm not going to lie, I'm a couple videos ahead. So, yeah, this one you probably won't see for a couple weeks from at least when I'm filming it. But, yeah, let's just hop right into it. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to on post notification. I would appreciate it. And let's go. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here, Captain. The colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might... Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. Mm -hmm. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Uh, Colonel, Colonel I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Oh, I forgot about the water. Maybe we can get some of the water samples on the way. Yeah, it should be good on ammo. Hey, Deke. That uh, corporal. Hey, Sarge. Yep, that's the one. But what about... Alright, we'll do this first. Why not?
O'Brien. Come in, O'Brien. I know you were in this channel. Drifter? I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, you turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife. The woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her. She's alive. She's being held by uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> Sympathy, I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to. No! Far did my bike go? Okay, look, Damn. I don't need your goddamn sympathy. I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay. But there's something you have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. This holds. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien? Damn it. Watch it like that, huh? Shoot me, you fucking bastard. It doesn't look too bad. Should work. Nice. All right, let's go get the water. Oh, water, whatever it's called. Something water. Oh. Drifter, are you there? Oh, Brian! Okay, where the hell have you been? Keep me at the coordinates I've just transmitted. I'm Brian out. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian, oh! Jesus, he's... Oh, damn it. Oh, shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember escape before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his crew. Okay, this pretty much looks like a marsh. Let's go look. Have like a skull to indicate that it is poisonous. I need more. Okay, just a few more. I gotta find more. Do 
dang, there's a lot over here. St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy looking for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, yeah. and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As That's do it. we all. Dismissed. I can't. Come back. Just, uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She... Damn you, Ricky. I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said... Who's man? Ricky! Well, give him hell, who's man. Give him hell. No, got the shiver. Ooh. Every time, I just I love seeing them jump out like that when I'm barely by them. A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor, and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. Yeah.
I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, that does no kind of make sense. No allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed. Thank God. All right. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. <laughs> I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. That is true. As you were. Poison bolt? Ooh. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Come on in. Take a look around. Yeah, I can fix that. Okay. Deke, uh, Corporal. See you, man. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? Hey, you be careful with that one. You'll shoot your eye out. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Okay, now that's more like it. There you go. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> See you, Corporal. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. All right, where do we go now?
got a bear. Trying to get some supplies. Could make something out of this. This investigation made it. Oh, Meeting O'Brien. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, hey, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks are mutating, some faster than others. Uh -huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> the tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else we'd like you to check. We did send a team in on foot. They never came back. Just let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. So, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're 
talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and, and other... You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Remember, you. if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. Oh, great. O'Brien, oh, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, oh, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, oh, out. Brian, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah. And that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <laughs> yeah, well, I probably would. St. John out. Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy, and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G. Hernandez. How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking, is there something you haven't told me? Not that I'm aware of. O'Brien out. Another flare. Gotta be another one of O'Brien's men. Hello? Can you hear me? Moving the arm or something, if you can hear me. Arm. Uh, nope. Just gotta find a way over there. Now, how the hell do I get to him? What the hell hit 
Nothing looks messed up. Brian, I uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Max, I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. That's just, that's so great. Oh, Brian, good for you. Yeah, neither did anyone else. Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Where's Seth? He's down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on. Stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. My shit's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Chen. Get Chen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? I'm so fast. I just didn't see you coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper, are you there? Chen? Oh. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, we're, I can't... Gonna be, we're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Go! 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 You're prepared to see me fight this thing for two hours. Is it recording? Okay, in the last one, I it stopped recording at a pretty big part, so. So what the hell am I dealing with here? Oh! Briggs, that was fast! What is it? Long arms, claws, what? Oh my god! with that, I'm not boarding anything. This isn't your fight! It is now, Sam Jones out. Come on, come on, come on! Come on! There we go. I need a second. I'm not gonna lie, that, that got me. That got me really good. <laughs> oh, that thing is fast. Like, the thing is so fast, I have no idea where it's gonna come from. The Reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide 
find your route. What? How? How, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! <sighs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't really that bad. Not great, but could have been worse. Oh. I hope this was worth it, O'Brien. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John, get out of there. What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You've got to be kidding me! Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. No, 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 no. Come on, there can't be that many more, right? Please tell me there's no more after this. Is that it? Okay, that didn't nearly take me as long as the last one. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Oh, thank God. O'Brien. <laughs> that was good. I thought that was sure. That was going to at least take me a good 20 minutes. I thought at least 20 minutes. But what really helped me is, you know, constantly going back between that wall. Honestly, next time I have to face a herd, hopefully it isn't as big as that one. That one was massive. I don't think this comes close to that one, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit and you crawl back into blood. 
cozy underground bunker, or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what a shit. Survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Damn it! I am so surprised it didn't take me long to get past that herd, horde, or whatever you want to call it. tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. Ah, we'll just see about that. St. John out. Gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Gotcha. Bye, Colonel. I spotted him. Come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! Don't let him Another game that I'm thinking about potentially playing, is, I think there's like three of them. Uh, it's called um, Mafia, The Mafia, something like that. Definitely thinking about playing those games. Or at least the first one and see what we think of it. Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. 
Well, I think I already did. Ah, it don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn the anarchists. Colonel, I've got him. Transmitting the coordinates now. Ah, it doesn't look too bad. Hey! Good work, Corp. Oh, you can't leave me! The sure. freaks! The freaks will, will, will stop the leap! Please! Bunch of murdering assholes can't let any of them get out of here alive. I do not have time for that right now. Shit. health. I think 200 is good for health for now. We need... I think we need to increase our focus. We haven't done that a lot. Yeah. Focus. Gotta focus. I think we've only done it like once. Alright, now we need to get some gas. I was only at 4%. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. 
think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. We are going to risk our life for an MP3 player. Deke! Corporal! Hey! Hey, Sergeant. Ooh, we should, uh, maybe go get some more ammo, because we use quite a bit of it. Corporal St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Okay, now that's more like it. Okay, yeah. Every little bit helps, yeah? Yeah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John, I'll catch you later. After we do the MP3 player, if we don't get a mission right away, we'll probably go and do this. Then we will go and do this because I think this is kind of continuing the little story we have for Boozer. So yeah, we'll do that. How the frick do I find me MP3? He's not big on tunes. How the frick do I find an MP3 player? every time <laughs> Weaver, yeah, I can barely hear you though. You're breaking up. Oh, it's this damn cave, man. I'm surprised the signal gets out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah, where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. Home of the fighting platypus or some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tunes. Oh shit, I gotta go. Radio me when you get there. We've out. Uh, sure. Weaver, whatever you say. Uh... 
every freaking time. Colonel, reporting in. Did the uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. I went to retrieve him, he was dead. Dead? Poison. He killed himself. We're not sure how. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us, died with him. Yes, sir. St. John out. Uh, I can fix this. Yep. Is there a car over here that isn't done for? A little bit more. Weaver, I'm here. Say, John, all right, man. I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on, these all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was near a flagpole, a big one. They're flying the good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Shit. Word. Figures. How the hell am I gonna get through that? It's gotta be down on that football field. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver.
Oh, I am actually really surprised we did not fall. Hey, I ha I don't think I fell so far in this one, have I? I think in every episode I have fallen by a, by freaking running into a tree, a fence, a car, and I pretty much died in almost like every single episode so far. And I don't think I have done it in this one, have I? Let's see if we can go another hour without it, or maybe like 40 minutes. Might as well fill up my gas again. <laughs> okay, that one I did on purpose. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh, oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. Even though we shouldn't have had this for our life to, you know, get MP3 player, but, you know, it, it's whatever, right? It's whatever. Oh, that's a side mission. I mainly want to focus on the main mission right now. In this one, we'll do main, the main missions. Uh, in the next one, we will probably do at least a couple side missions. Okay, that's a good one. That's a really good one to have. Second wind. That's a good one to have.
we need to start working on this one a little bit more. Why not? I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. Is no accident. They bring word of more camps. Like the one to the south, which we have purged. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened. All of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's not. They are part of God's plan. Yeah. They are part of God's punishment. Yeah. Eternal, yeah. Yeah. No, yes. no. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. No. It is our fellow man, right on. Yes, sir. like Noah, before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. Yes, we have. Yeah. To save. All the knowledge, yeah. so when the, the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we built something. But in this no. age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. Well, there won't. No. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. Yeah. We are sent forth to baptize the world right. with fire. Yeah. Yeah. Today, oh, yeah, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse. Brian, this is Saint John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and Militia Camp. You disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll bring it out. Gotta get to the RPGs. Where would they be? Oh. Towers. It's gotta be the towers. That's right. Keep moving. Speech? Move it against other camps? Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some grub while you're out. Yeah, right. Come on, you son of a bitch. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the orders... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. Okay. You're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? O'Brien. Well, I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close, and if we see anyone... <laughs> In case you didn't read my note.
Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? No, come on! Oh, I need shit, Weaver! No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private! Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man! That canister, right there! Go, go. Oh! I don't want to see that canister fall. Shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh, shit. More guards. Okay, hold here. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the Nero chopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean, God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment. Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Soldier, what are you doing? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? Do you know the penalty for dis- <laughs> Nice job. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. Good job. Well done. Come on. We're almost there. Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me to Lost Lake? I mean, I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Wait. I'll distract him. Oh, no. Now I got you. Oh, frick. <laughs> that's, a, that's my bad. Obviously, but, <laughs> you know. I don't know why I kept, why I kept going, but I did. Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me to Lost Lake? I mean, I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Wait. I'll distract him. Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Do you speak ah! <laughs> nice. You too. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. We made it. Where's it? Where is he? Where's O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh, oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! God dang it. Of course, Skizzle. Skizzle? I cannot pronounce his name right. Of course, he would come here and Just mess up the whole thing. Don't listen to him. He's a murderer and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? You, you know I you're am not. I am like the leader of that camp. Lost Lake oh, sent him here. This is full of shit. I'm you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you. He is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. He comes out of nowhere lying. and you're gonna believe what, what's him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? What the is fuck? that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. 
Huh? Show us your enough, back. enough. That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Mm. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Kuri, I forget, is that the eighth or the ninth command? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't been there. You make him show us this his This guy is so gonna get killed. Lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. Mm. Turn him. <laughs> You wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you, Deacon St. John? You hide behind Never angelic names of the truth and is, clothe yourself in lies! He got kicked out you of You are Judas! Son of a fool! And what about you, Lieutenant? I don't understand why they would immediately believe everything he's saying. Like, you think he would kind of tell that they had a little tension. And that, you know, you should maybe talk to the Deacon and see what his How side of the story is, you know? Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise I haven't been... More lies! <laughs> Oh, that's a bad idea, bro. You do not want to do that when Deacon's right there. I expect men like him to betray me! What did the officer say? Colonel, it was me! Uh, it was me! But, Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I figured he would do this. I called him and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait, who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial. And he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know? Lieutenant, please. Come on, get up. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I love his face. I forgot to make, like, what are you doing? Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A 
dead dog chewing through its chains? It's not something you see every day. I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really? The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <laughs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well, then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. Gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta Probably save Boozer. My stuff. Ricky, Iron Mike, and I, I, can't, I can't save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. But I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna come back for you. I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh, uh, Sandium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, that's the fastest way. Alright. Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be like a little war now between Lost Lake and the military camp or whatever it's called. Burn you ass. 
Of them, huh? Where'd you all go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh. Let's see what I can do. Hang on, Boozer. I'm coming. Taking over the old Nero checkpoint. Not getting through here without a fight. Son 
the bitches get the hell out of my way! Booze, are you there? Come back. Booze, man, come back. Deke, is it you? Yeah, move him in here, goddammit. Addy, get wounded inside. Boozer! Deke, glad to hear you breathing, brother. We sure could use you about now. Get him inside. Move, damn it, move. Look out! I'm coming, Boozer. I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo. Schizo, he's there, Boozer. He's coming for you. Slave camp, come in. Ricky, I hear Mike, come in. Deke, you're alive. But Schizo said you were dead. Fine, Schizo. Hey, hey, they're pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it, man. Right on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? A bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <sighs> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Mm. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch. I wanted to... See, if you wanted to go fishing, we got a camp to feed. <coughs> <coughs> you found her? You found her? You're a lady. Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She, she's here. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. I want to meet her. Come for you. Hell of a gal to go through all that trouble. I got to know what my little bit is. Okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got Wrong, Deke. No, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just you get back on your feet, you'll have to burn him. I was I was wrong. Definitely was not expecting to see Iron Mike die. I mean, yeah, Iron Mike. <laughs> it was 
There's no easy way to say this. Iron Mike's dead. Oh, no. he, uh, he, he tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. He tried to reason with him and... Okay. Yeah, I... Shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. We don't have time for this because... Because the men that we killed today... Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one of them. At least they're gonna try. Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm just goddamn drift. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. Find Boozer, tell me maybe like Kevin. Dang. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dumb truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. Nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan. Militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. So you got civilians in the caves, you got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp, and you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that, we tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, if she's in the caves, it's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just gonna kill everybody? Sarah, Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't. I don't, but I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're... I can go in, I can find her, I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The Colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Look, Iron Mike and the rest of them, they're just the first casualties in that war. And it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nick. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not gonna be able to do it alone. All right, okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit him, you hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're gonna rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna need some supplies. Crazy asses. is going to be it for this episode. That was a really exciting episode. Uh, make sure you subscribe to on post notification. I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end. I feel like this is definitely making out to be one one of the last missions. I'm assuming like if a big war is going on normal, that's like the big mission. But you know, we'll see. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up.